Hi, my name is Dr. Joe Ferrantelli, CEO of Postrico, and I got something exciting to show you. This is the Postray radiographic EMR system, and what I want to do is just go through some of the highlights because we have so many questions on how this system came about and what is it exactly and how can it benefit in an office. Well, first of all, the way this came about is myself, Dr. Deed Harrison, and Dr. Don Harrison were uh, some of the original pioneers, especially Dr. Don and Deed Harrison of spinal modeling. You know when you see that normal cervical curve that's uh, superimposed on x-rays? Dr. Deed Harrison owns the copyrights to that internationally. And so we actually took the modeling research that we published in Spine, Journal of Orthopedic Research, Journal of Spinal Disorders, Chiropractic and Osteopathy, you get the idea. We took that back end information and put it into Posture. So Posture has already been tested in some of these, these best journals in the world because the same information that we programmed our original system is the same uh, user, except for we have a graphical user interface that's friendly to clinicians, okay? So with that being said, how can this benefit your office? Quite simply, you have to mark x-rays anyway, right? You're supposed to have a report for every x-ray, okay? Well, how about at the same time that you generate a report that you can go into your EMR, but you can take a report and also give it to a patient. How cool is that? It's going to build the practice at the same time. So, of course, we were the pioneers of uh, patient report of findings with radiographic methods. And I want to show you, this would be a patient report. Now, if you look at the patient report here, you can brand it with your own logo. Okay? And we actually have a mini report of findings in here. Okay, you don't have to print this whole thing up. You can if you'd like. But what's great about this is you now have normal versus the patient. The green elliptical line that is superimposed over the x-rays that we're licensed to use. We're the only system in the world that's licensed to use these elliptical lines from our, our, um, our studies. And you can see it automatically will calculate the percentage loss based on all our, our studies. Okay, so you're using a defendable product because we already did the testing. No other EMR can actually even claim that. So flexion extension, we did that. Go through, imagine how powerful it would be to correlate. You know, Mrs. Jones, this is normal, this is you. Can you see how your whole head is shifted off to the left? Don't worry, we can help that, okay? And then you can write notes to the patient to build that life impact with the patient, okay? Here's a scoliosis example. Normal versus the patient. So we're not complicating this. We're using a red and green line on there right now, um, and it will measure and put it in terms the patient understands. So if this is a med legal case, this is great because you're going to get a friendly jury or judge um, report of findings that they can understand. That's not doctor speak. Um, and additionally, I'll show you the impression reports in a second. But imagine if you sent out a report system that actually had documentation on every view. Imagine if this went out on every cash patient, every insurance patient, med legal workers comp, or even if they're a free patient, marketing to everybody in your practice, marketing to every doctor in your area, because what the, the staff is going to do is going to hand deliver these reports. Now, I find it quite amusing that other people are using my ways of, you know, uh, marketing ideas using Posture A, but we were the first to do this. We were the first to use x-ray digitization reports for marketing principles just like, say, an MRI center would do, okay? Because it's all about building relationships with other doctors as well. And notice, of course, since we did the original research, we have the original references as well, too, okay? So if this finds its way into another doctor's office or an insurance company, you're well documented. That's a patient report. Now, at the same time, you can generate an impression report. So this is when you get, this will go into your medical records for instance, here's a lateral cervical, and if you flip to the back, we have ideal values, patient values, percent difference at every level, segmental translations, global assessment, upper cervical analysis. We put it in text there for you as well, too. And we go through that, and you can actually even sign off on all the reports. So what is different on this is, I'm going to pan through, let me go show you a scoliosis case because I showed you the scoliosis case in the, um, the patient report, but in the doctor's report, or also known as the impression reports, notice that we actually superimpose the Cobb lines, Plum line, riser ferguson line, the angles. We report the angles of displacement in this nice chart. We also can have our path report right here. 
Same thing with thoracic. So this becomes a complete medical record. Okay, how cool is that? I'll go through every view. So imagine if any x-rays that leave your office, you can build your practice. Here's the instability report using the posterior tangent method that was originally um, popularized by Harrison and all and published in, in spine. So we're doing that on flexion extension analysis. Finds the areas of instability. Okay, great for med legal. If they're at MMI, it's going to show you, hey, that they're rateable. Okay. Furthermore, if you do med legal work, the same time, I didn't have to do anything else, you can generate the end plate analysis popularized by, it was originally from White and Punjabi in the, the late 70s, and the AMA guides adopted it with flexion extension analysis. You can see that it will even generate all this documentation. We even do Pennings analysis. How many other systems do Pennings analysis? Of course ours does. It's a little bit easier because we actually did some of this research so we knew how to program the system. Okay, quite good stuff here. And last but not least, and then I'm going to go into how to use the system, we can do comparison reports. So you can see this would be an impression comparison report where we have the patient before and after. And you can see with this intervention, this is a great change using chiropractic biophysics protocols to establish a more healthier, stable spine uh, using our rehab methods. And it goes through normal values, x-ray one values, difference from normal, x-ray two values, difference from normal, percent change at every level, x-ray one to x-ray two, segmental translations, percent difference, global assessment before and after. And then, what goes home with the patient? You're going to build the practice. If you wanted to, you can put your own logo here instead of the posture logo. But imagine at the end of care, you could send something home and we just digitize their images. We didn't have to do any, anything else. It's already formatted. It shows that she, she got a 740% change in, in her lordosis. That's pretty impressive. Also to know that you don't need digital x-ray for this. This is actually plain films that we use, we captured using a, a normal uh, digital camera and we have a unique um, way of calibrating the image. So we can do before and afters on every view. And of course we have references. Now you're probably wondering, well this must be pretty time consuming. Quite frankly, it's really easy. You don't need a special computer to do this, and the idea is to get the staff, if your state laws allow this, to get your staff to do most of the work for you. And now the doctor is going to double check the work, put in the path reports, put in the notes to the patients, but if the staff makes a mistake on digitizing, the doctor can correct it before the reports are generated by dragging those dots into correct position. So, if we look over here, we have a lateral cervical already pulled up, and it tells the um, a person that's digitizing where to um, place the cursor. Now I'm just starting at C1. We can also do the upper cervical spine, but for simplicity I'm going to show you C1. And this is how long it takes to do. So I'm going to show you. We can use the, the mouse to click the spots, uh, but more effectively if we have a fancy screen like this. Now this monitor is very expensive. It's a Wacom digitizer. It's not a touch screen but it responds only to a pen. So I can go ahead and let's flip the colors here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and digitize so you can see in real time. There is no system that is faster than this. And imagine if your CAs could do this, okay? How much time this is gonna save. And at the same time, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna come in here. Let me change the color back to where you're used to. I'm gonna put in the green red lines, you can see that. Now, if you focus over here, you can see that we've measured all the relative angles, all the segmental translations, the global analysis, the um, posterior tangents to vertical, um, as well as ADI, spinal canal diameter. Everything's already measured. Now, it's time that we can go into the impression report. I'm going to delete this so you can see how this is generated. The impressions are quite easy to do. You can generate your own phrases using this uh, phrase builder. So I'm going to go in here and say there's no acute bony abnormalities. Uh, there's mild uh, dysthenia at C4-5, and we're done with our path report for the impressions. So now we have a complete medical record for the lateral cervical view. And if we're going to put a note in for the patient to build that practice, to make a, a, an emotional impact with the patient, how th these subluxations are going to affect their overall health, we can do that. So we can see right here, we're going to go ahead, I'm going to choose this phrase here. 
that says this type of abnormal neck curve is usually caused from a traumatic event. This position is predictive of chronic neck pain and upper back pain statistically. The good news is our unique rehab methods have been shown effective for improving this abnormal position. I didn't have to do anything. I just chose my favorite phrase. If I want to add another phrase, I go in here, choose add, and I can type in whatever I want. And then that will be available. So I can add my blah blah statement right there. And that it will be available for the next report. So I come in here and hit save, right? And then now we can go in and generate the report. So I'm going to come in here, generate the report. Um, I already showed you the report of findings portion of it, so I'm just going to jump right into the views. It's going to automatically calculate the values again because if the CA made a mistake and the doctor pulled those points into a healthier, or I should say more accurate position, um, we're going to recalculate everything. So going into this point, you can see what I just did is captured right here before, uh, excuse me, a normal versus the patient, percent difference from normal, and the note that I chose to put, give the, to the patient. The other x-ray views are right here as well too. We have the reports that I just showed you on the other patient. Instability is found, so technically that can be upwards of a 25% whole body impairment. Global assessment using pennings found that there's instability as well. Uh, the impression report is right here too. So you basically get different reports and we saved a bunch of time documenting. Okay. Now here's the gem. The gem of this is if you we're going to pan over to this other other view. The gem of this whole computerized system is this. At the time of a report of findings, you can have another computer through a network um, running our viewing software, or viewbox software and come in and you're ready for a report of findings. You don't have to go find x-rays, you don't have to mess around with a, a third-party PAX viewer to try and pull up x-rays. They're already done, so all we have to do is come in here, boom, there you are with your pre-post, or excuse me, your, your x-rays, and you can come in here and say, you know, you have a 92.4% loss of your normal curve, notice it's right there is your problem. If you use the general orthotic, how cool would this be to educate them and say, you know, Mrs. Jones, if you use the dental orthotic, you can put a normal healthy curve underneath your neck and it will support right through here and it's going to push that red line to that green line to make your spine more healthy and stable and ultimately correct the dysfunction that brought you into this office known as a subluxation. Okay? Have you ever at, had a patient ask you, well, Dr. Joe, what's that drop table do? Well, the drop table, Mrs. Jones, does this. I'm bringing your head up into this position. My hand is contacting right here and I am adjusting your spine to a more healthy, stable position. A PAC system can't do that. No other radiographic EMRs can do that. Actually, there's really no radiographic EMRs that can do what ours can do. This is the view box functionality. I didn't have to go looking for the x-rays. They're right here. And then all I have to do is scroll to the next x-rays. And if you forget what their values are, there they are, the instabilities. Okay, hey, your head is shifted off to the side. This is a touch screen. These screens aren't the best for digitizing, but they're great for a report of findings. And we scroll through them. How awesome is that? We also, say we have a patient with a disc problem in their low back. This is normal, this is the patient. Their nerves coming out go down their leg, right? And they're having all this dysfunction because they have disc herniations. Well, we've partnered with an animation company called 3D Practice is that we can go ahead and come in here and choose animation. So I'm going to show them first a dermatome chart of their subluxations. And we'll blow that, that up here again. Sorry about that. Let me blow this up. So imagine how powerful it would be to show them right from the same screen using 3D Practice how those disc injuries are affecting their back. Come in here. We can go ahead and choose disc ailments from the top view. So we can show them that the discs, which we can't see on x-ray, what is happening is something like this, where the disc will protrude, putting pressure on the spinal nerves, okay? And those nerves are being compromised due to the subluxations and the disc herniation. And this, Mrs. Jones, is the reason why those nerves that go down your, your leg are affected and why you feel that burning, that burning, searing pain down your leg. How about that for report of findings, okay? Pretty impressive. So now, fast forward, we got the scoliosis view. Everything you need at your fingertips right here, okay? So a nice feature 
is also if you have the network system and it's you have touch screens at your your computer at your adjusting station imagine using our quick view we can go ahead and pull up the patient's x-rays quickly and succinctly to where all you have to do is touch the x-ray and boom there's the, the thoracic or excuse me the scoliosis in the uh, AP lumbar here is lateral cervical so if they forget why they're coming into your office we can go ahead and show them right there furthermore one of the things that we can do is we can choose to export those views and pull them up as standalone JPEG images like this so that way we can go ahead and pull those into your third-party EMR software in addition to the PDFs and they're already annotated so if you have a digital x-ray how awesome is it that these are now compressed JPEGs that are already annotated the way chiropractors need based on objective data based on the Harrison models that were published in the best journals in the world pretty powerful okay so with that being said that is a basic overview of the posture ray radiographic system if you'd like more information if you have some detailed questions please reach out to us at sales at posture come by visit our website at posture also known as postureanalysis.com we have some other software for the iPhone and iPod and iPod touch there as well uh, for reading posture so come on by to postureanalysis.com. We'd be happy to answer any questions that you have. Thank you.